A 12-week police blitz across Perth has been branded a failure for failing to stop a surge in crime. In most cases, crime figures have continued to soar despite Operation Sweep. Alice Pooley has this exclusive report. It was meant to be a crackdown on a surging crime wave. 1,000 officers mobilised under Operation Sweep. Their job, stop the rise in assaults, robberies and burglaries. But three months on, the crime spike continues. In September, assaults, including domestic violence, surged 35% compared to the same period last year. 1,742 cases. That's 58 a day. Property damage jumped by 23%. Burglaries, 15% up to over 2,400. What we're seeing is dramatic increases in crime like we've never seen before in Western Australia. We've now seen for the third month in a row a double-digit increase in crime. Operation Sweep launched in August. There were no extra police. Existing officers were simply retasked. The opposition says that's led to both ongoing cases and detective work being neglected. The police union is also shocked by the recent statistics. It's demanding $4 million for overtime for officers so they can work around the clock. To actually do more, you have to have more resources, uh, more police and more hours on the front line. Senior police today wouldn't comment on Operation Sweep's progress. If the effort they're putting in isn't, isn't um, consistent with the results we expect, they'll have to change their effort. Drug trafficking offences also skyrocketed last month, more than doubling to 347, the highest rate in five years. The number of murders, sexual assaults and arson offences are down. Operation Sweep officially wraps up in early November. Alice Pooley, Nine News.